Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Kids, where we cook food from the land and the garden. I'm your host, Grandma Phil. Hope you enjoy the video. These days, everybody knows about the world and the shadows that grow. We know what's going on. Tonight's co host is Caleb Strong from Two Mile. Hello. Tonight, we're going to be making coho, seared coho, that my dad caught last night, mashed potatoes and garlic with salt, and a leek sauce with steamed broccoli. So first we're gonna cut the potatoes because they're gonna take the longest to boil. So we got these potatoes at the Woodgrain Farm at the farmer's market we bought them this morning. Caleb, do you wanna cut those up? Okay, so while Caleb's doing the potatoes, I'm gonna get a pot, and then I'm gonna start doing the salmon fillets. Those look yummy. So now you're gonna trim the belly off. I'm gonna start from the dorsal fin. I'm gonna cut it over the belly because the belly is the richest and it's good on its own. Another reason why you don't wanna why you wanna cut the belly off is because it'll cook faster because it's a lot thinner than the rest. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful filet. We're gonna wash the blood off and clean it. Now you want to rinse them. We're running fast from the gods today. They bite our heels if we refuse to pray. We raise our hands, pretend we're okay. Don't you remember the golden day? Okay, now that we've cut the potatoes, we're going to put some water in. And we're just going to fill it right to the top of the potatoes. And then we're going to add some salt into it. Okay, so I'm going to put like two tablespoons of salt in. Then I'm going to put it on max till it boils. Then put it on a seven so it doesn't boil over. So Caleb's going to do the garlic. And while he's doing that, I'm going to season the fish. So while I'm doing the garlic... There's some green coming out of the top here, so I am going to cut the top of the garlic off. Then, I'm going to bring that over here, put some oil in my hand, just about a little bit, maybe a little less than that, that was an accident. And then I'm going to rub the garlic in the oil. And I'm going to put that in the pan. And that in the oven which is on which is at 400 oh that needs to be a little further in and do not burn yourself on the oven that really hurts that's from experience so now before we season the fish we're going to take them and cut them into serving sizes you want to cut the fish with the grain into about that big So while Grant's cutting the fish, I am going to take the broccoli off the outside of this center thing. We're going to call that the rib. I'm going to take the broccoli off the rib. And then we're going to saute the broccoli because not many people know this, but it actually takes a, tastes a lot like broccoli. And broccoli is pretty good. So after I do that, I'm going to put these here and I'm going to do that to all these and then I'm going to wash them and then saute them. My soul is in the focus of hate I always come up with blood on my face I'm a believer and I know you relate So now we're going to make the leek sauce Leek sauce has four ingredients Leeks, butter, salt, and milk So now we're going to add a healthy tablespoon of butter Then we're going to turn the stove on to about eight and wait until it melts. So now that our butter is ready, we're gonna add our leeks and we're gonna stir it. Mm -hmm. 
So, no, right now we're just gonna try potatoes. Oh, yep, they're ready. So, so we're gonna turn those off. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. And then continue stirring it. Okay, so I'm going to put the potatoes, I'm gonna strain them, and then I'm gonna dump the water out of the potatoes into this strainer. So I'm gonna put that lid right here. And I'm going to dump water, and just in case any of the potatoes fall out, that's the strainer for. So the potatoes just don't just go right into the sink. and some spinach and some butter in the pot before we put the potatoes in the pot. fingers a little bit and then I'm gonna try and cut it up so that it's pretty small then I'm going to put some butter in with the garlic and yeah so I'm gonna do some cut 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 that we definitely washed and as shown and I missed a piece over here so I'm gonna put that back in and now I'm going to stir that now that this has been in the stove for a bit and soaked up lots of butter I'm gonna go put this over here and put that there I'm going to add a splash of butter like that much that much then I'm going to, where'd you put the potato? Oh, okay. Then I'm going to add the potatoes. Oh. Then I'll grab that one that went over there. And I'm going to start mashing them. are soft. I'm going to turn the burner off and add like a splash of milk. So now that we have our milk in and it's evaporated, we're going to put it into a food processor or a blender. Now that we have the leeks in, we're going to add three one inch cubes of butter. some more milk because it was too thick. You want it to have the same thickness as a gravy. Well, so I'm almost done mashing, and in the eyes of me, I am seeing heaven, gloriness, and something that's going to be very tasty. So now I have a pot with a little bit of water, and a pan with some olive oil. This is to steam the broccoli and this is to saute the bro bro broccoli leaves. So now the pan and the pot are ready for the broccoli and broccoli greens. Then I'm going to put the broccoli in here. Whoa! 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 Science class now. Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, greens, you only have to saute for a second, so we turn it off. Then you want to add a pinch of salt and stir it up there. And then you want to move it off from the hot burner. 
So I'm going to check the broccoli, and that looks pretty good, so we're going to turn that off and drain that. Cast iron is better than non-stick or Teflon, if you take care of them. Some tips for keeping cast iron perfectly seasoned. Never use soap, or so soap, only water. Always dry immediately after washing, and add oil to, to the entire inside of the pan. And if you do have trouble getting some food off of the inside of the pan, just add some water while it's on the stove and it'll cook right off. Now we're going to cook our salmon. So, I'm going to put them on. Then you want to take just a pinch of salt. Pepper. So what I like to do is put a little bit of butter on the top of each piece of fish. And then finish it off with butter. Now you want to flip it over and sear the top. But the butter will be melted at the bottom of the pan. Everybody knows the good times go to show that we forget too fast. They take their hold Our food, diamonds, and gold Now I forgot to ask So we're gonna try it Mmm! Potatoes are good! I like... I like the green stuff in the potatoes Me too Oh, that's really good Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Mm. That's the best fish I've ever had. Thanks for joining us in another episode of Cooking with Kids. And another thanks to Caleb Sean for coming to this video and being our co-host. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Mmm. Mm. because it looks really good. I'm gonna try the bottom first. It's like kale.